I'm pretty much like monetized already. I think. Do they Venmo me? Like, how does that work? <laughs> He's just gonna. We're gonna do like just like monologues with Jason. Like, and I just sit here and just talk about all my like life feelings and stuff. Yeah, here, let me do this. Let me do this. <laughs> well, let me get a little bit more heat, and then we'll just start talking. About that. So, pretty much, I started my first vlog. Um, Pretty much famous at this point. YouTube cut me a check for 76 cents already this morning. Um, about 15 hours past when we first launched. I'm up to 65 subscribers, so pretty big following. Yeah, things are different. Like I can't, like we went to Olive Garden, you know, and after I paid my bill, she brought me mints and stuff. So like that's not everyone gets to experience that. Um, the little Annie's mints for the, the high class, you know, customers and patrons. And that's, I'm in that level now. But pretty much I've tacked into all, hold on. All forms of the uh, internet. And uh, we're gonna do an OnlyFans next. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what's so funny? That's like, that's where we have like a lot of fans, right? Uh, yeah, that's what you guys told me. So, mm -hmm. uh, and then my fans pay me just because yeah. of like our our race results. Mm. Yeah, very yeah. So I'm gonna start OnlyFans, and the riders are gonna do well, and then the fans pay me, and that's how we're gonna keep this going. That's all the trials, sir. Um. That one doesn't think it's going too well. You just gotta add more heat. When in doubt, heat it out. Coming from the guy that had nine layers of graphics when he was doing his own team. Ask, ask him, ask, did, you, did you ever remove the graphics? <laughs> did you ever remove the graphics? No, that's the freaking secret, Jason, is that each weekend that you replace graphics, you just pile it onto the next. And Wait, did you next. actually do, did you do that? Yeah. So. I probably had, six, realistically, no exaggeration, I, I probably had, I don't know, five to seven. Yeah, it does. The shroud weighed 35 pounds when we pulled it off. It was so heavy due to the layers and upon layers of graphics. Why did you do Because I could, didn't have time to take them off, first of all. And then when he did take them off, it left so much residue that I was just like, mm, I'll just keep going on top of the other ones. And so five rounds in, I had five sets of graphics on my bike. How much of this is going to be in the vlog? How much do you want, man? <laughs> um, but anyway, you're out here doing graphics. So putting on graphics, this is for, um, I'm actually doing Alex Ray Shroud right now. And then we'll start working on everyone else's, but we have a whole box of UFO plastics over there and I'm gonna spend all night putting on some 139 graphics. Most of the bike work's done, I gotta do tires. Uh, the tires were in my trailer, which was super cold. So I took them and put them in the stadium where we're, it's a nice temperature. So tomorrow morning, I'll just do a bunch of tires in the morning to. Oh, it's a little bit easier to put on. New plastics and graphics every round? Yes, yeah, so we do new plastics and graphics every round for the riders. Um, I think, I don't think Steve is gonna put them on Jeremy's bike. They were in really good shape. Alex is, is really tough on his everything. So, I mean, I can't even like just say plastic and graphics, but he's just tough on everything. So, he wears off the first part of Babbitt's every single uh, time he jumps on the bike, so. Gotta keep them fresh, or else it just says bits, and we don't want that. It's not good for anyone. <laughs> we gotta update, I think tomorrow we're doing the update on the board. Some big changes, we're gonna go to the uh, the Babbitts Online uh, parts board and have the riders update their totals to reflect the damage, and let's just say Alex Ray is probably gonna be in the lead by a long time for the rest of the year. He won already, I think we can just do the, the award ceremony. I mean, you never know. I hope not. I, <laughs> if someone else beats them, we're the only fans is gonna be reality. <laughs>
those guys did their own bike stuff. I did all of AJ stuff yesterday. AJ's mechanic fill in for this weekend. Um, so I guess an update there is Mike is feeling a little under the weather today. If I had to guess, it's he's from California and it's cold as shit here. So he just don't want to work. But I'm gonna wrench for Alex this today and uh, AJ's long time friend and mechanic in the past, AJ, is gonna wrench for him. So it's it's all working itself out. His bike is ready to go and should be good. So I checked the board. Okay. And the totals have not been updated. No, we did not update them yet. It was it was cold up there. It's very frigid and there was no camera. So we're gonna hold off, but I know Alex has got over two thousand dollars of parts to add to his total. So it's going we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Oh boy. Yeah, it's well, exciting. Right on. <laughs> went in on compression for you some more. Hopefully to keep it a little bit higher in the stroke for you. And then, yeah, we'll either, I'll revalve it and we'll touch up from the inside. Hopefully yeah, it's we'll, mostly just those two rhythm lanes that go parallel and kind of run side by side with each other. Other than we that. Can, we can manage through the day with it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sitting out in the cold ass trailer and, <laughs> and wrenching, but we'll do what we need to do. We'll make it happen. We had a good uh, first session, qualified, uh, well, went, ended up with P2 on that one. Um, Starling sneak snuck in there the last yeah, last did. lap. That last lap he did was good. It's only a tenth of a second though. Yeah, so we're in a we good can spot. pick that up. We're looking. He looked good. It was a uh, it was a smooth Alex Ray. Just kind of went over the the bike side of things and made sure everything was squared away there. Uh, the firepower chain stretched a little bit, but it was a brand new chain, so it's common. Tighten that back up and went over everything. We're solid, man. He's in a good spot. He feels good. He got a little. Uh, Little DM from Dungey earlier. Right here, it says, dude, I've been thinking of, thinking of you lately and I wanted to let you know, believe in yourself. I watch you ride and you have so much talent on a dirt bike and belong in the main event isn't a question. You're a top 10 rider, no doubt. Focus on yourself and just hit your marks and have fun. Don't overrush the track and carry momentum. You have it. Let it happen and have fun. That's pretty cool. I don't know. That's, that's really freaking cool. cool. Coming from the diesel, dude, psh, that's awesome. It's an RD coffee. Sponsorship on this side? Did Helmet deal maybe? <laughs> One DM and we're already talking freaking marketing. <laughs> Starling, we're out there, we we stopped. He talked, he said he was doing, after you go under the bridge, he went three, four, right there before the whoops. And uh, and yeah, that's where he got me. He got me by a little bit, it wasn't much. And I think, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much where I got. I just gotta do it. It's one of those things where you just gotta pull the trigger and do it. It's just tough with the way the track is right now. It's By the time it gets to our practice, it's pretty beat up and rutted, so. Well, I mean, feel good, bike feels good, so we'll try to, uh, Try to make things better. Your mechanic doing okay? Yeah, mechanic's doing all right today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
When do we get you down to the line, though? Yeah, early. That's it. I like it. <laughs> when I wrench for these guys, it doesn't matter who it is. It's the same routine. I go over the whole entire bike, touch the things the same AJ's way. That first, way I know. Uh, first segment. Is it? Just go over everything, and AJ that way you Jeremy hit your points. Make sure fuel's done, chain's good, Jeremy check your oil levels, um, coolant levels when it cools down. Um, clean the mud out of things. That's it's one of the biggest things that in like local races I see where riders and mechanics fail to do is just clean the, the mud out of the foot pegs that way you can return back to a base setting and and all those places um, linkage is another one that where your suspension is not getting bound up by dirt and stuff like that so we do all that stuff we use uh we use a mayhew pick tool and we just pop up in here and we just pull all the the dirt out oh wait it's simple so pop it into the top you can see it all fall out. That's it. And when I spray a little bit of penetrating oil right on the spring just to keep it wanting to move freely and do it to both sides. Yeah, there's definitely more steps with Alex than there is other people. Just if, if there's a part that can't be broken, he will break it. And everything else is pretty much breakable, so he does break it. So it's one of those things. So clutch is good. Um, he's actually been really smooth today, which is good. Staying easy on the clutch. He's not making as many mistakes. He's not overriding the bike. And that's when I watch him a lot of times, he has a tendency just to... He wants it so bad that he'll override the, the situation. And and I think today he's just been really flowing with it. So it's, it makes it a little bit easier. And yeah, like I said, just staying on top of everything, making sure all the other mechanics are good. It's a, it's not, for me, it's not just this bike. I gotta worry about the other bikes. Everything falls back on me. So make sure riders are good and, and good headspace. And it seems like they all are. Um, track sounds like it's got some big jumps out there. So I think they're, some of them are a little uneasy on that. Alex has been putting in some lap, lap times that are fast, and he's got to do a a three four after the tunnel. And uh, I know he's uh, think he's thinking about that a little bit too much. So I think hopefully he'll go out next practice and just run it. Alex rode good, but he just he was overriding the bike in uh, that practice. So he ended up breaking his throttle tube. I'm gonna fix that, and he ended up breaking his front. Uh, fork guard. So I gotta fix that. I think we're also gonna go a little bit slower on the whole shot device. So we're gonna drill that down a little bit longer. So I gotta do a little bit of that. Um, and that we're just gonna prep it for the for the night show. So I qualified 22nd, 23rd, something around there. So not bad, right where we've been. Um, it sounds like unfortunately there's a couple people out. How the other guys do? Uh, real good. Um, that's broken. Um, <laughs> Rob did good. Smith was one behind, one behind or one ahead of AJ. I don't know exactly. I didn't look. We're doing a sprocket change for Alex or from AJ. So I was up with that and just trying to make sure everything else is good. But just rocking and roll, man. I'm excited for tonight. I have a good feeling. Just got, a, just got that vibe. So, but A Ray is just racking up his total again. That's what A Ray does. <laughs> is what A Ray does. A Ray going A Ray. Hey, we'll, we'll take it. Yeah. It puts in the main. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Those forks are loving beautiful. It. Loving it. They are gorgeous. I do like them, man. My God. One of my favorite combos. Yeah. Yeah, very popular for us too. We, we, we definitely sell a lot of them. Heading into the night show. Um, everyone's ready. We're uh, we're solid. I'm excited for it. I, I'm feeling some main events tonight. Uh, I know I said that last time and thought that we were gonna get a couple in, but I I got a good feeling this time. So I, I thought that last time, but it's, it is life. We're uh, we squared away. Everyone's in a good mood. Everyone looked good and, and fast and, and qualifying. It's it's happy. Um, Alex just double checked his bike over top of all my work, so I don't like that. But uh, I'll deal with that later. Uh, this guy's sweeping, so that's always good. Oh, that, that is the smallest room. room ever. So no, it's a uh, it's go time. Let's make it happen. You gotta pull up some totals, huh? Well, ninety-two dollars is my brake lever. Two dollars and eighteen cents. Brake for the brake lever. I also did a clutch and handlebars. So handlebars were ninety-nine dollars. Yeah. And a clutch lever was forty-four. Well, yeah. So one thirty-four. So I just so times. ninety-nine plus forty-four plus with the Babbitt's online. Babbitt's online uh, brake lever ninety-two. Ninety-two eighteen equals two thirty-five eighteen plus. 134 puts your grand total of 369.18. You son of a gun that cost oh. me a lot of money. Honestly, he's still. What is it? 369.18? 369.18. Still in the lead. Yeah, I was going to say, you're still, still looking pretty good. But uh, man, not, not at this rate. 369. 
18. Man. Alrighty. We have it. And to think I've gone full seasons with zero. Yeah, well, wait until you see A raise total. Well, <laughs> every time I freaking tip over, that clutch lever breaks. All right, so let's go to Mr. Rod Bell. Are we, are we changing his? Rod Bell did a break lever. Break lever. 92, 18. And that was all he did there. Yep. Yep. So plus 7, 20.55, 81273. Would you like mm. to do the honors or me? No, I think you should, because it's probably bad juju if I'm doing it on his. Yeah, <laughs> I fall. <laughs> 73. Now I had to look up some parts on Babbitt's online real quick for Mr. Ray. <laughs> what did he do today? He did a uh, uh, grip. So $30, we did $29.99. The grip. $29. And then we did a, oh, front four cards. They're, they're $29.99 too. Okay. Okay, and then Saturday, what did he do? Frame. Are you counting Saturday that? was a frame that's already in here. Um, skip plate, which was mm, that's expensive. 199. <laughs> He's gonna have a big total here. So the updated total is 2,355 just in <sighs> Indianapolis. Plus oh my. 673.99 and we have a customer. <laughs> Not 3,000. <000. sighs> Let's move the money sign way over here. <laughs> AJ, you are racking it up, dude. Yeah, I'm at 369. I'm disappointed. Hey, disappointed. hey what, do you, what do you know about falling? Because he's pushing. He hasn't done that in like eight years. Seriously. Hey, I respect it. Yeah, That's I it. it. I was happy about that, actually. Yeah, <laughs> so, hey, what did, uh, this is Rob Bell's mechanic, Spence. What did he, uh, he did the brake lever. Gas well, cap. Gas cap? He did break a gas cap. Oh, that's right. What did we say that was? That was like $24. Yeah. How do you break a what gas else? cap? The Went little nipple. Little ride through the, uh, through did you do any bars or anything there? No. Nothing? No. Just, Just a gas, gas cap, cap and yeah. break it. Did you do anything? Brake lever was, or the brake pedal was tough block. 836 updates. Updates. These are live updates right now. <laughs> and the Purchase. riders, now the riders have to go online and purchase all their parts. <laughs> and I want to see the printed out receipt Monday morning. Well, there you have it. Son of a gun. Updated totals. I need the, uh, I need the soundtrack of okay. back, back that ass up and I'll spin around. That's <laughs> 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 right. Can that be the intro to your Yeah, that should be the intro. <laughs> Wrenching for A, right? Ugh. I don't know what to write on a pit board for 20 minutes. He yelled at me though. He's like, you didn't even tell me the position. I was like, oh, what do you mean to do? P20 every year lap? Like you're in the same position from the time you started to the time you finished. Like, give me a break, all right? Bikes stay together. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good day. Um, it's tough on a management side to see all the riders and have different emotions. And a lot of people don't realize that, but it's, you know, one moment, one corner, you can have a guy that is, just took, you know, second place in the LCQ and the other members of the team are frustrated with, you know, where their results were and things like that. So um, it's just tough coming back and you gotta like adjust your conversation and, and your tone and, and your demeanor with each rider. Proud of AJ. AJ crashed in the LCQ today, pushing, which is huge for the kid. He always stays in good form and-, and I'm sorry. Come on, dude. <laughs> sorry. You're kidding me, dude. Sorry, I thought I was muted. All right, well. <laughs> Back to AJ, he, he sucks. I don't even want to say anything about him anymore. I wrote my whole video. He's jealous because my, my vlog numbers are getting up there. I think it was the vlog. So he did, he, he normally rides in his comfort zone and is very precise with his technique, which he's drilled in so many people's heads for so long. This weekend, he was pushing that envelope a little bit and he crashed and I, I think that's awesome. I, I think it's good because we're now taking another step in the right direction. And that's what I've been saying since day one. We, we've We've accomplished the, the speed that we know we've, he's always had, um, but we lack that intensity and that that fight once we get into riding with other people. And today he pushed and, you know, he, he learned something. So that's good. And then we go to Smith. I didn't get to see Smith ride too much in the LCQ. To be honest with you, I was just nervous about Alex Ray's bike. It's it's tough being a, a mechanic side of things. And I, I don't sit here and look at myself as like a professional mechanic. And I guess I, I technically am just, I've worked with a lot of professional riders. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you know how hard I was trying to get up as quiet as possible. Seriously, trying to get up as slow and quiet. I'm sorry. That was really trying to get up quiet. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave now. Bye. You don't know. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see Smith from talking to the mechanic, Steve. He said he, he rode really good and had a, a good fight up there. Um, I think there was a little incident with him jumping on a Red Cross. I didn't see it, so I really don't know what happened. If he did do it, uh, he'll definitely be off the team. <laughs> um, I like the medieval style punishments where we just, you know, we just end it. No, I'm sure it was totally unintentional and, and not his his style. So I, I think they docked him two points. Rybell's grinding. He uh, He's really trying to find his, his sweet spot here. He, he, he rides really good and then I think he's, you know, sometimes getting a little frustrated with it. I think he's that race mentality. So he wants to be up top all the time. And when he's not, it's, he's tough on himself. Um, he's way tougher on himself than I am on him. And I think that's, uh, you know, I think he needs to just relax, let it come. It's, it's, he's going in the right direction. It's not an easy climb. No, you know, no grind is, is fun. It, you got to work through it and, and he's doing that. So we're just trying to keep him positive and, and he's doing a good job with that. And his mechanics helping him stay positive and stuff like that. So it's, it's been going well. And then back he said to, to Alex, it's been, he rode good. His last qualifier was a straight shit show. Um, just mistake after mistake and just pushing corners, overshooting jumps. And I think he ran in the back of Van Martin. I don't think he had a chance with that one. He was losing front end traction in the corner and Van was already down and just, it happened. Um, but then he went out in his heat and he rode solid. I mean, he was running 12th and I think first lap he was actually 18th in his heat. And he came back to a solid 10th place. So he, he did exactly what he needed to do. Um, he knew ninth was a little out of reach just from how far back he started and he just maintained that number one gate pick coming into the LCQ. LCQ was great. He got a great start and just really rode smooth. There wasn't many mistakes, just maintained that second place um, behind, I think, Carlin, Gardner, and uh, rode great. Went into the main and I think that was the fastest I've seen him consistently. It was every lap was almost identical as far as you know, speed goes, except for when obviously the lap, you know, the, the lead riders are coming back to him. You know, it's tough to race. I think him and Vince uh, battled it out for 20th for a solid 20 minutes. It's, it was uh, nerve wracking for me just because of <laughs> last week. I, he can't add any more money to the board. Um, he's going to have to be fired as well, I think. All in all, I think it's great. I am going to head back home and try to get a little bit of more work done on the business side and then I'm gonna fly back out and get ready for Indy 3.